less than two weeks before Christmas Day, Healthbridge Management, an out-of-state for-profit nursing home corporation, locked out the trusted caregivers at the West River Health Center, leaving nursing home residents scared and alone, only to be cared for by faceless strangers. Healthbridge has proven through these ruthless, greed-driven tactics that they will stop at nothing to make a bigger profit, betraying fragile residents and profiteering from their hurt. At a time when we should be counting our blessings and celebrating the holiday season with loved ones, family, and those we know and trust, Healthbridge threw their dedicated caregivers out in the cold, separating them from the fragile seniors who depend on them. When we walked into work for 7 o'clock on Tuesday last week, um, they escorted us out the door, told us that we were locked out and we were not able to work. Selfish is greedy, it's corporate greed. Their pockets are fat, ours are flat. I mean, and they're trying to make them flatter. We can't afford, nobody, nobody in there is making big bucks, nobody. So for them to take the little bit of money that we make and put it in their pocket is, is greedy. The day that we were locked out, we were getting phone calls on our cell phones of the patients themselves upset, wanting to know why there were strangers in the home taking care of them because they weren't told until that moment. If we allow this to happen, they'll be doing it everywhere. This is a multi-million dollar company. They make big, big bucks. We don't. It's heartbreaking. Um, our patients are there with people they don't know. The majority of them are used to waking up on any holiday, especially Christmas, to us. And now this year, they're waking up to strangers who do not know them, who do not treat them like family, and they don't care for them the way that we do. I got a um, phone call from one of my residents wondering when I could come back and she was pretty upset. And um, she was just out there wondering where I was and wanted me to come back. And I actually went to her sister's house yesterday and delivered her a Christmas present. We didn't want this. They did this to us. They did this to us and our families and to the entire Milford community. They don't care. They're from New Jersey and they don't care. They don't care about any of the family members and, and the employees that work here and live here in this community. They just don't care. I think they should bring back the, their old DNA that have the experience that didn't have the problem in the first place. You know, I just don't understand, instead of setting new faces, every day I come here I see new faces. P different people, different nurses, different CNA, and it just, and I, every day I have to over and over again tell them how to take care of my father the right way, which is really frustrating and stressful for me. Now I'm not here to comment on all the legal niceties. You know, I used to be Attorney General. Right. <laughs> and now I'm a United States Senator, and I know that lockouts are against law any time of year, but particularly this time of year when you need to be inside there caring for people, not out here. And the place to settle these differences is at the negotiating table, not out on the streets. You know, I just want to thank all you guys for what you guys do for my sister and all the patients that are in there. All right. And I hope this gets settled quick. All right, because I want to see you guys back to work. All right, I don't. So I took the time. Took the time. Ooh, Daddy, I don't. I don't like what's going on. I really right. don't. This is the one percent. Right. Yeah. Right. This is the group of people that believe that the reason we are on this earth is to give them more and more money. Yeah. You have to remember that the work you're doing is God-given work. When you care for the ill, when you care for the sick, when you care for the elderly, you are doing the work of God. Yeah. You are doing the work of God, and the patients know that. The patients know that, and it's a shame before God 
that you are not the one that are turning them. You are not the one that's changing them. You are not the one that is giving them the help that they're accustomed to. These are patients that are dealing with issues of modesty. They wanted the people that they know to see them in the way that they're, they're being held. Right. They want to be able to be turned and cared for and know the people that are turning them and working with them and that actually has love for them, that's trying to get in and give them the Christmas presents and the things that they need, even right now.